Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Brandigus, and I'm back for a brand new playthrough on this channel for 2017. My Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, if you saw my, if you see my Twitter, you would have known this ahead of time because I kind of gave a Twitter sneak peek preview of four new playthroughs that will be coming out for this year. If you're wondering about my Pokemon League Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, I will be continuing that next week along with another one of my premiere playthroughs. So watch my channel, watch my Twitter to make sure when those come out. And I chose Pokemon Platinum because Pokemon Platinum wasn't my first Pokemon game for the DS. It was Diamond. But compared to Diamond, Pokemon Platinum was a lot more memorable with a lot better features. The online world, the amusement park, I got so excited. The distortion world, how you could go sideways and walk and you have to get to Giratina that way. How you could catch both uh, Palkia and Dialga. Uh, along with Giratina, and just the events when Shaman Sky came out, Arceus, well, they didn't really release Arceus' event because blah 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 blah, I won't go into details about that. But without further ado, let's get into this playthrough, and we're gonna see if we can make it to the, uh, Sinnoh League. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Alright. My name is Rowan. Hey, Rowan. However, everybody just calls me Professor. I'm sorry, I'm calling you Rowan. I don't care what you're saying. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? <laughs> no. If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving. I mean, I know this is for new people to Pokemon, but... You know, you would think that most people playing Pokemon actually have probably played. Alright, I had to click there because it's a protection. Alright. Oh, it's Veneering. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Ah, good for you, tree name professor. What are you, like the fourth? Yeah, this was fourth gen. Okay, are you a boy or a girl? I'm pretty sure I'm a boy. I'm pretty sure. Not, I'm like 99.9%, .9%, so there's that 0.1% that I'm not sure. So, alright, so... Alright, so... Let me just use my mouse to click this. There we go. Alright. Yes, my name is Brandon. So, you're Brandon. A fine name, that is. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Oh. I've never met him in my life. But, um, we're gonna name him Faint. Since we honored one of my favorite uh, YouTubers who also is into Pokemon and ROM hacks and playthroughs, um, John aka Aubrey's Nidroid. I'm gonna do Faint Attacks and just name him Faint as my rival. So, oh, and if you don't know who Faint is, I'll put a link to search below to his channel so you can go check him out. He does a lot of Pokemon videos, some playthroughs, he does a lot of Pokemon online battles with Sun and Moon now. He used to do RRS and uh, X and Y online battles. So, go check that out, he, he's really good. And he also does anime videos, so... I, I don't really watch that, but if you're into that, go check that out. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Oh, really? Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay, um... I, I don't think I could go through my computer screen, honestly. I don't think... I, I don't... Pokemon are up by our side always i hope you will understand the meaning of those words that was the comment left by Prof professor rowan who has returned to sino from the cancer region oh really he went to the cancer region guys that concludes our special program let's ask professor rowan brought to you by jewel life tv on national wide net see you next week same time same channel that there seems to be only one channel okay oh barry <laughs> Come on, man, let me just check my PC. There you are. Oh, oh, I can name the Barry Faint. If you don't know, in the fourth generation anime, he's, uh, his name is Barry. Hey, Brandon, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, really? I never knew that you get Pokemon from a professor. Oh, hey, is this it? Don't you touch my PC! Uh, where was I? Uh, oh, right! 
we're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Brandon, if you're late, I'm finding you. I don't think you have the power to find me $10 million, but I'll, I'll, I'll just let you have that. Okay, Brandon, check the PC. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, I really hope we get in the running machine soon. Oh, there's Mom. Hey, Mom. Wow, Mom in this playthrough just has a huge head of hair. Finn already left. I don't know what it was about, but she sure was in a hurry. Okay, that's that's really that you, I, you couldn't have just told me. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, Brennan. Don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Thanks for being a downer on that fact. See, like, it's like, there's snow all around, it looks really nice. Okay, so... Oh. Oh, that's right, we have to go to Kaveri's house. I think he's, uh, we have to go to Faint's house. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Okay. I keep calling him Barry, but Faint, I'm sorry, man. I'm calling your wrong name. I think... Yeah, I thought so. Thud! That's, that's my impression of the thud noise. Thud! Okay, what was that about? Oh, hey, Brandon. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come, too. And quickly! If I had running shoes, I wouldn't, man, honestly. You, you run, you walk faster than me. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Uh, faint. What are you doing? I'll probably get the hang of it, calling very faint. Uh, I'd better take my bag and journal, too. No, I don't think. I mean, to record your journey, I don't believe so. Oh, hey, Brandon. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million, fi $10 million fine if you're late. Uh, great. Can you put that one on my tab? Can you start a tab, please? I mean, that would be great. Okay. Alright, so... I guess we, we're going to meet Barry on the road. Right? Yeah. We walk so slow. Went to Professor Run's lab. <laughs> what? Don't get go into the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter what we... <laughs> it doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen. You know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get into San Jim Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here we go. On your marks. HOLD IT! Oh yeah, gangster walking up. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Awkward silence, awkward silence. Hey Brandon, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go into into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it the, is it right for me to put them on that path? You two, tr you two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two truly love Pokemon, do you? What, you can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, Brandon? Yeah. A pair of reckless kids who, foolish, who foolishly tried to enter tall grass without a Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass, and I'll... Hmm! How big of you? Very well, then. I will trust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However! You must promise that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm. Uh, where? Oh, look, it's Don. Hey, Don. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. That's the best way to do. <laughs> oh, 
Is something wrong here? Ah, there is. <laughs> I continued in the dawn. Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their Pokemon. Pardon? <laughs> Love that. How that was a mix of Rowan and Dawn. Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. <laughs> we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time, the place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really, Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Brandon, you could choose first. Why am I doing? I I can't I can't do voice editor. Okay, so we get to choose first. Okay. All right, open the briefcase. All right, this, like that I said, this is randomized, randomized with Nuzlocke, so the starters are randomized. Okay, so the first star we can choose from is a uh, Nidoran female. A Latios, jeez. And what else? A Cell? Okay, yeah, it's definitely between Latios and Selby. Um... Probably go with uh, Latios because Latios is a dragon type, and dragon types will be probably pretty OP in the beginning. And it's a psychic, so it's really it's pretty good. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon scenes. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sandy Town. And now, we'll be on our way. And this is updated with Gen 6 moves. So, uh, that was also in the ROM. I'm sorry. Please let me pass. I'm not in your way. Shit, dude. How do you like that? Professor Ron's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Aw, uh, I think they know what time it is. He's getting pumped. Hehe, <laughs> Brandon. We're, we both got Pokemon now. There are only there's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Heck yeah! I've always wanted to say this. The time's finally come. Brandon, I challenge you to a battle. Bring it on, rival. Okay, now, if you don't know, in my Pokemon League Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, one of my rules is in the first trainer battle, since like there's a chance that you might lose in the first trainer battle because of the moves the moves that you have available to you. If we lose this, we could just, uh, we could just, um, just keep continuing, and that's our only, like, real chance of feigning our whole party in the whole, like, playthrough. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna use my mouse right here to, uh, click on the touch screen. Okay, so, what, I've never seen heal block, I wanna know what heal block does. Foe Selby was prevented from healing. Wait, heal bell, okay, heal bell does status, so that makes more sense. Okay, let's try side wave. Time to go on the offensive. What in the that one hurt you? No, it didn't. Okay, side wave again. I'm really hoping for a critical. Oh, wait, leech the ush. Doesn't seem like he has any attack moves. I know we we know it, the Selby has um Heal Bell and Leech Seed. I wonder if it has any attacks, like damaging attacks. Heal Bell again. I wonder why my Heal Block didn't actually block the Leech Seed. Wait, our Heal Block uh, wore off. Okay, let's try Heal Block again. Does Heal Block only, like do, like, items, or... Oh, okay. Okay, heal block. Wait. Bell chimed. Oh, it prevent... It still takes HP from me, but it prevented it from getting any of that... Oh, it does have the damage moves. It has confusion. Not very effective because we're a dragon and psychic, so it would de definitely be not very effective. 
we gonna actually beat this? Sidewave? Yes! We beat our first training battle in the playthrough. That rule didn't even need to apply. The post cell will be fainted. Sorry, fan. 67 XP? I would think it would be more. I would think it'd be more, because Celebi's a legendary. Actually, not a legendary, she's a mythical Pokemon. Thank you. Woo! Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest, too. See you, Brandon. Alright. Well, then. Okay, what's the matter, dear? Well, that's what happened to you? You and Fane are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Brandon, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sand Gym Town, right? Isn't it? Now that you have your Pokemon, Pokemon the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, Brandon. Put these on. Ah, oh, finally, running shoes. It's gonna make traveling so much easier. Going to Sandwich Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read instructions. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how, like, I wish they kept the feature, like in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, because in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's just a bottom in the bottom. There's a button in the bottom of the touch screen, in the bottom screen, which is the touch screen of the DS. You could just press, and it keeps the running shoes on. But of course, it also increases the chances of win. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Oh. Too slow, Brandon. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to go see Professor Rowan so I can think of properly. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. All right, let's go to the lake. I love how you just walk and we're running. Oh, we already tried the bag. Okay. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. How are we going to capture it? Do you have, like, a Pokeball or a Master Ball? If you have a Master Ball in your pocket, I'm going to applaud you for that. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on the sign. What Pokemon? What legendary is here? Wait, what's going on? Cyrus from Team Galactic. I know, I know, I know, I know, I played through this. Uh, the flowing time, the expanding space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Yeah, even how he just worded, like, that speech, you could tell he's the bad guy, even if I didn't tell you who he was. Allow me to pass. Step aside. <laughs> this is the killing curse. Damn, that's overkill. What was that? What is that about? Weird guy. Okay, Brandon, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Whoa! No, Mesphere. I think this is where Mesphere resides. Where's Azelf? I don't know. Faint. Oh. <gasps> Did you hear that, Brandon? That was the legendary Pokemon. Crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us! You know, Pokeballs? Poke accent E balls? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Ron would give us some if we asked? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Brandon, I'll race you. First one, this professor, the professor lab in Sandrin Town rules. Alright, bring it on, let's go. We're going to Sam Jim Town, guys. We gotta do it. Okay, let's see what random wild Pokemon, because we might come back here. Because we can't catch anything in these, um, th this grass. So, when we catch one on each area. Okay, so, okay, Kecleon. Okay, let's battle it, uh, just for the sake of XP purposes. From, throughout the most of the playthrough, if we needed to, if I, if we needed to, um, uh, what was it? If I needed to level up the Pokemon for the team, I will cut through it and come back to where we were in the first place. I'm glad it didn't have them paralyzed us yet. I'm surprised that wasn't not very effective, because 
He took on the uh, typing of Psychic. Okay, let's run, run, run. Okay. Oh, we could get we could get a free potion from that guy. Beautify. All right. Could tell before it even came onto the frame. Okay, this should be a piece of cake. Although, no, I think our bug type super effective psychic. Well, Zorb's a grass type nerf, so I don't think. But yeah, like I said, I will level up off screen, so you guys don't have to worry about that slowness in the playthrough. But until for now, for this first part, this is just an introduction, so I'm not really gonna do anything major. Okay. Ah, oh, you, you. Okay. Psychic. This should knock it out. This should give us a good amount of XP. Seeing how it is a Final Evolution Pokemon. But who knows. Okay. Psychic. And... I mean, Psywave. And awesome. It did. It did give us a good amount of XP. Level 6, Latios. Awesome. Okay, so... As, okay, let's talk to this guy. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go into your medicine bag. Yay, we obtained a potion. Okay. Now, uh... For the sake, I'm probably just gonna... Oh, a Breloom? Okay. So, we've met a Kecleon, Beautify, and Breloom in this patch of grass. Okay, let's run, because I don't, I don't want to keep you guys. <laughs> this is the first playthrough after all. Okay, we're here! Alright! We will thank, in the next part, we will thank Professor Rowan uh, about, for our Pokemon. We'll talk to Don here, go into Professor Rowan's, Rowan's lab, and then we'll try and make it to Jubilife City, which is the next town ahead of Sandrum Town. I hope you guys are, will will enjoy this playthrough. I sure am. I, I'm sure, I sure am already because of that Latios. But like I said in the beginning, if you want to go check out my Pokemon Leaf Green random as a Nuzlocke so far, of what it is, how far we are, the link down description below to the playlist so you can go check out all those parts. And check out Faint's channel since he is uh, my, my uh, in-game rival. And I hope you guys will stick around this year and like I said um, in the beginning, uh, at the end of 2016, if we could get to 200 subs, I will face reveal. Um, I know that's the cheap way of getting subs, but, you know, it's not like I'm gonna start doing face cam, you know? But, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll play with you guys, game with you guys, talk to you guys later. Stay awesome!